So today I came out to my garage to hide something behind this unit that I wasn't going to use for years. And what did I find? Something that I haven't used for years. This is a Guitar Hero guitar. Actually, it says Gar Guitar Mania Wireless 2.4 Gigahertz. And nowhere on it to say what game console it's for. Uh, now, I bought this thing over 15 years ago. Now, I'm pretty sure it was for a PlayStation 1 or 2. I've never owned any of those consoles. I've never really owned any console other than the original Nintendo and Game Boy. Uh, but I bought this, like I said, 15 years ago because I thought that I'd be able to wire it into my computer because I was just learning about Arduinos and development boards and microcontrollers and um, I was stupid back then. I thought that I'd be able to take the adapter from this and I thought there would be a pin for each button on here and there's not. That's not how it works. Um, so. Originally, these were about $40. The price tag on it is $39.98. Now, if you know me, I'm cheap. I, don't, I, I would not spend that much. I think I got them for about $5 a pop, and I bought two of them. And the first one, years ago, after I realized I wasn't able to do this controller thing, I thought maybe if I pry it apart, I can wire into each button into an Arduino and then into the computer. And, uh, and I ended up throwing that guitar out years ago and forgetting about the second one until just now. And I had never even opened the box. The box got wet here in my garage. Um, somehow, some water got on it. But the guitar seems to be in good shape. Now, again, I wasn't even sure if this was a PlayStation 1 or 2, uh, you know, what console it was for. Well, when I first started searching for it, because I thought, okay, first find out what console it's for, and then find out if someone has come up with some Arduino software that I can wire into this and maybe hook to my computer. But when I searched PS1 or PS2 game controllers just to see what it looks like, the first thing that came up was USB adapters for this. You can get them on Amazon for 8 or $9, and apparently you just plug this into the dongle and then the dongle into your computer through USB and it's going to show up as a game controller theoretically hopefully well I'm a little too cheap to spend eight or nine dollars so I looked on AliExpress and I found that they sell them for about three and a half dollars shipped from China but it's going to take about a month to get here so hopefully in a month I'll get a little dongle in the mail I'll plug this in plug it into my computer and it will just show up as a game controller and at that point I can do lots of things with it now if you go back into my earlier some of my earliest videos I uh, had borrowed a Wii guitar where the Wii controller went in it, and if you guys watch my other videos, you know that I love Wii controllers. I've never owned a Wii, but I have a bunch of the controllers because they hook through Bluetooth and they are great, great little devices. Well, I'm hoping that I'll be able to hook this up, and then, just like in my earlier videos, I can hook this up to a synthesizer on my computer and play some music. or play Frets on Fire. Do you guys remember Frets on Fire? Probably not. Uh, I'll probably review that game again if... I get this up and running. That's a fun little game. But you can also, you know, should be able to play video games with this because it should just show up as a game controller in theory. So hopefully, hopefully when that shows up, it will work and I'll be able to continue this video. Uh, otherwise, you may never see this video here. So let's go ahead and jump a couple of weeks in the future, cross our fingers that this little three and a half dollar adapter works and I'm not out three and a half dollars. It has arrived. Let's see if this little three dollar adapter works. It actually came in only a week. Let's get some batteries in that guitar. Plug the adapter into the USB dongle. Currently I have three joystick devices hooked up to my computer. In the dongle here. Lit that up, that's good. Now let's see how many joystick devices we have. Cross your finger that there's more. Well, more than four. I said three earlier, but... Oh, there's a fourth one. JS test on joystick number four. Go ahead, Connor. You're not going to hear anything. Just press buttons and move that little bar. You pressing the buttons up there? Nothing's happening. What's wrong? We forgot one, one, one step, right? You gotta turn it on. There we go. Now that, press the buttons. That's the most basic step ever. And it's being detected.
No time for secrets. <laughs> Don't get Pona. Oh, come on.